Hi, welcome to Range and Country. I'm Peter. And I'm Lawrence. And we're here today to bring you honest reviews of air guns and shooting equipment. Today we're having a look at the Diana Bandit, a PCP pistol that's regulated, Lawrence. Yep, yeah, and brilliant at this sort of price as well. Great for hunting or target work, um, which is very, very nice to see. There's plenty of choice out there nowadays. Yeah. So what's different about this one? We've got quite an ergonomic grip there, haven't we? Yep, yeah, it's a nice wooden grip ambidextrous and like you say it's quite ergonomic you've got finger grooves on the front there we certainly do now that fits my hand quite nicely what, what, what about yours yeah 100 percent. it's got that sort of base um, that a lot of the target pistols have as well i'm sure it's called a specific thing i'm sure i get uh, told what it is in the comments um, but all of that together makes it feel nice and solid and it contours well to the hand definitely very i think ergonomics a very good word isn't it when they're describing something something like this. Now, regulated, so that's going to give us a bit more accuracy over the um, over the different pressures in the cylinder. What I tend to sell regulators to people on is not their accuracy necessarily. What they will do is make the pistol more efficient or make the rifle more efficient wherever they're in. Uh, so it'll give you a bigger shot count and also it means you can have them either at 200 bar or 110 bar and it should be the same power. Yeah, flattens out that power curve basically, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice to have, especially in a, a pistol like this. Now, I find it quite amazing that they get a regulator in that tube, which you can, you can see part of the regulator through that uh, breather hole there. So you've only really got that much air cylinder how many shots did you get out of this earlier in 2.2? We tested it in the 2.2, it's 30 shots. Now, considering how big that little cylinder is, and that is the thickness of my thumb, or just under, that's pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, so you get about 30 shots in 2.2, uh, and about 25 in 1.77. Okay, yeah. Now, one thing, I will mention this before we, before we go any further. You tried to put some air in it, didn't you, a bit earlier on? Yeah. Now, you struggled. A couple of times, you struggled. I had a bit of a look at it. It is seven o'clock in the morning, in my defence. <laughs> <laughs> now, this, what do you call it? This cover, this dust shield for the, uh, for the, for the fill aperture, it's not, it's not concentric. It's not, that hole is not central. To, to that um, to that dust cover, which means there's only one position that you can have that at where the fill probe will go all the way through. And that's what it needs. If you have it in the wrong position, if you have it 180 degrees out, it will just keep popping. Yep. It'll leak from it. The probe won't go in far enough and it won't seal. So that's an interesting point. You'd have thought that would have been central, wouldn't you? Yeah. But... As long, you know, as long as people know, that's uh, just one of those things. Please have a look at that. I make the mistake, so you don't have to. <laughs> yeah. So what else have we got? We have got a, a look at that. We've got a Druck Luftwaffen on the end there. Yep. Yeah, uh, I don't know what the Druck means, but Luftwaffen is a... Uh, um... Uh, Do you remember well, your German lessons from school? Yeah. Uh, the history lessons, yeah. The, the um, I, I mean silencer, I guess, doesn't it? Silencer moderator, it means, uh, yeah. So that quietens it down quite a bit. We have tried it with and without, and it does make a difference. Yeah. A pistol like this, you could quite easily use it in your garage at home. We, we, we've been shooting at 10 metres here this morning, haven't we? Yeah. Um, what I'd say to that is power-wise, it's it's not one of the lower power. It's quite it's quite a powerful pistol. They're generally coming out between sort of four, four and a half foot pounds. So if you are using it in your garage, I would say perfectly safe, but make sure you've got something strong behind it, nice thick bit of plywood or and or something to stop it coming back at you as well. Yeah, we were using sterling board with a bit of a 
bit of cushioning in front of the sterling board and that worked perfectly, didn't it, on yeah. this when we're shooting this. Yeah. So four, four and a half foot pound, okay for dispatching rats. Yep. That, that, I think that's probably about your limit, isn't it? And yeah. Very short range ratting. So yeah. you could um, dispatch squirrels in traps as well, with that sort of thing yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, certainly. Quite dual purpose. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Certainly use it for, for hunting, well, pest control. Um, or you can use it down the range because it's got a magazine with it as well. Oh, it has. How many shots in 2 2? Seven shot in 2 2. Uh, we haven't got the 177 here. I believe it'll be eight or it'll be nine. One of the two. One, one of the two. It could be one, could be the other. Um, so it's very, very nice to have a, a magazine in here as well. Um, they are the SMK, they are the Chinese style magazines where you have the faceplate that turns the wrong way, loads the spring up. Preload it. First yeah. pellet in backwards and then spin and load from there. But once you get the hang of it, they're very, very nice. Mm. Now, we've, we have a pressure gauge on the front here, don't we? Yeah. Colour-coded again, branded Diana, yep. nicely. Um, very easy to see the top of the green that that's been filled to. Can we show the ladies and gentlemen on the top camera? Yes, we can. Look at that. So you fill to the top of the green, shoot to the bottom of the green. Simple as that. As I say, about 30 shots, so three magazines, fill it back up. Jump, How did jump, you jump. get on with the open sights on this? Yes, that's a point. Uh, so, so it's got open sights. Yep. Uh, the rear sight is obviously fully adjustable. Yep. You've got a screw in the top at the back here, and that will obviously do your uh, elevation. Elevate, that's the word. Um, but you've got two screws, or you've got a screw in each side to do your windage. Generally, on these open sights, what you'll do is you'll have one screw and you'll turn it one way and it'll move that way. These work opposite to each other. So what you have to do is if you want to adjust it one way, you have to unscrew the... It's, you have to release the pressure off the screw on the other side okay. and then tighten that screw to pull it across that way. Okay. If that makes sense. Mm. Sort of. So for me, it was shooting to the left, so I wanted to pull it to the right. So what I did is I unscrewed the one on the left a turn, and then I screwed in the one on the right half a turn away. And that worked okay. Yeah. Okay. And then you tighten that other one back up so it doesn't move. Okay. Interesting. Now with that, with that. Rear side tone. I mean, you, you can remove it. It has got a dovetail on the back there, hasn't it? Yeah. I don't know what you get on there. A you would, red you, dot would fit. If you had a red dot, you'd have to be a shorty. Yeah. You probably just grab the tape measure. Are we th are we three inches there? Two and a half. Two and three quarters. Two and three quarter inches. So so the base of your red dots. It wants to be quite short, doesn't it? Yeah. You're not really going to be able to span that because if you span that with a mount of a red dot, you're not going to get your pellet in the in the aperture in the slot. Yeah, and certainly the magazine wouldn't. The go magazine in. won't go in. So, just need a, a very short, well, a, a red dot with a very short base, two, two and three quarter inches, ideal, or yeah. ha have it hanging over the back a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Now, in terms of numbers, uh, weight-wise, it's one kilo as measured here with the silencer on, which is about 2.3 pounds. Lengthwise, it's about 20 inches, about 51 centimeters with the silencer, and about 15 inches, 38 centimeters without. They're the numbers that we have to get off. Okay, so safety catch. Yep. See, we've got a little, uh, little catch with a red indicator there, blocking the... Um... Blocking the trigger blade. Yeah. Um, Typical air arm style there, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, nice and simple, effective. Obviously, a right-handed a right-handed shooter puts it on with their off hand, and then takes it off with their trigger finger. Talking of handed persons, let's have a look. Is that handed? That's not. Is that's not handiest today? The grip. Yes. The grip. Yeah. yeah. I've mentioned that it's ambidextrous grip. Yeah. It feels as good in your right as it does in your left. As good in your left as it does in your right. Um, 
Yeah, quite a, quite a small grip, this one. I would say if a lady was thinking of a pistol, I would say this would, this would be ideal. You're saying I've got ladies' hands? Because I think it fits quite nicely. Yeah. You, you wouldn't want much bigger, I don't think. No. No. You wouldn't want real, real fat fingers around there. But that is, it's, it's a nice grip. It's a nice grip, and um, yeah. I, I think any, any bigger hands than mine, you, you might, you know, sausage fingers, you, you might struggle a little bit with that. But ladies, perfect. You, you'd, you'd enjoy this one. Cocking bolt on the left hand side. It's nice for, mind you, you would enjoy that as a, as a left handed shooter, wouldn't you? No, because it's the opposite way. So as a lefty, you'd have to be flipping it over. We always have this, don't we? Yeah, but pistols are different. Pistols okay. are different. Yeah, because you haven't got the rifle here, and you wouldn't be taking your off hand off. It would just be there. Whereas that, you're going to be holding it like that anyway. Interesting. The debate continues. <laughs> Long-standing viewers all uh, know that. So. Let's just put those aside for a moment because the piece de resistance. How about that? Get a sexy little bag with it. Now, it's even got the badge on the front. Now, if you're a lady and your name happens to be Diana, absolutely perfect. If you have a lady in your life that is called Diana, what could be a better Christmas present than one of these? Don't quote me though. I don't want to blame for that one. So we have the, uh, the Diana Bandit instruction book. We have, look at this, foam, a pro proper case with a handle, foam cut out inside for the, rif for, for the rifle, for the pistol, space for your magazine, for your fill probe. How about that? And once that's in there, That's a real good carry to the range, that is. Handy little carry case. It certainly is, isn't it? It's going to protect it. It's going to be uh, not many, uh, not many pistols. You get something like this with, is it? It's just a little bit of added value, and it's also before we close that up, we've got a little, not a secret pouch in the top, but a, a, an extra pouch, a little bit of padding in the top there. You could put a bit more literature. Maybe your, your club membership cards, stuff like that, in the top there. I probably wouldn't put pallets in that top section. No. Um, because it's obviously it's not uh, padded between the pistol and the and the, the pound. Tell you what you could put in there. More padding. All the pound notes that you've saved by buying this instead of some of the other brands. Yeah. There are that would work. There are other pistols which look similar strangely similar to, to, to this um, and this is much cheaper much um, cheaper yeah we can't work out why okay because um, as far as we can tell it's exactly the same bloody thing interesting do the other ones have a druk druckluff waffen on them you know what they don't don't they that could be it they don't pretend to be German oh unlike uh that could be it. Unlike these. Yeah, so um, obviously Diana is a brand that's been about for quite a while. Long um, while. 1890, was it, I saw on something? Yeah, quite a while. Yeah. Um, historically German, these are not made in Germany. In case it comes as a surprise, um, at this sort of price for a PCP pistol, these are Chinese. But then... But Diana are confident enough to put their name to it. Yeah. And which, we've had... Which is... Uh, yeah, something um, to bear in mind. And we've had these P P PCP pistols for quite a number of years now. Mm. We've had them on the UK market. They are very good, actually. They are, they are very reliable. Yeah. They don't go wrong. Yeah, not much more to say than that. No. Okay, should we have a little shoot of it, get a target, and then do a little conclusion? Absolutely. Let's get on with it. Let's give it a go. So we've put this pistol through its paces. Unfortunately, we haven't got a camera at 10 meters. Uh, 
camera is fixed at 25 on the uh, in the studio here so we couldn't film the the actual shooting but we have the proof in the pudding here is that right i don't know it sounded all right and we have the ranger country pound coin and they're all i mean a 50 pence would cover that no problem at all this was me shooting it uh Oh, the same. Well, that's pretty good then. That's the only, only excuse that we need. Yeah. No, that that's uh, ten, I mean, ten it's, meters. It's a pistol with open sights. Yeah. Um, obviously, we don't practice pistol uh, all day every day. Uh, the pistol would do it. There are two here that are through the same hole, and then you've got one that's very, very slightly off. The pistol will do it. It will. I won't do it, but the, pi the pistol will. <laughs> There's honesty for you. Yeah, so pretty good. Did you enjoy shooting it? Yeah, very, very nice. Yeah. Uh, cook the cocking handle is nice and smooth. Um, it's very handy, big aperture to load uh, pellet in. We were just single shot in that. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Definitely. Certainly, we, certainly with the Druckluft Waffen, it was that the loudest thing about the shooting was the pellet sitting the, the yeah. sterling board at the end. Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah. What I will say is, if there were fibre optic sites, I'd have been able to see them better, rather than just plain okay. black plastic rear uh, front front and rear sites. Okay, interesting. You could always have a little dub of the old Tipex on there, couldn't yeah. you? Again, or obviously you got the rail there for a, for a red dot. Red dot, yeah, yeah. I think they're a brilliant little pistol. Yeah, they're so versatile. I actually uh, use one for uh, for ratting as well. They're brilliant. Yeah, definitely. Excellent. So, in summary, they're pretty good. Even Lawrence can get a sub two pound coin group at 10 yards, which is, uh, I mean, it, it's got to be good. It can't, it can't be bad if I. D decent shooter, be able to get a much better group. <laughs> so, that's all for today. Please like and subscribe. I think it's down there somewhere. And, uh, yeah. See you next time. Thank you very much. Thank you.